Hi everyone, uh, welcome. So uh, we are here to talk about OpenStack Python SDK. Uh, before that, who am I? Well, uh, yet another developer. I am individual contributor to OpenStack. And I started contributing to OpenStack as an outreach intern. And outreach is, for those who don't know, uh, outreach is nothing but an uh, internship program to help to get started underrepresented group in computer science to take part in open source projects. And uh, most, at most of the places like IRC, GitHub, Twitter, my nick is Explore Shafali. So uh, this is the agenda for today. I have divided this talk into three different sections. In the first section, we'll see what are the different ways with which one can use OpenStack Cloud services. In the second section, we'll see how to use OpenStack Python SDK. And in the third section, briefly, we'll discuss about few internals of the Python SDK, how it is being developed, and uh, what, what is its architecture. So let's begin. Uh, there are majorly three ways with which one can use OpenStack Cloud services and manage all the resources of OpenStack Cloud. The very first is GUI, which is a web-based graphical user interface where user can visualize everything graphically and they can click and select all their resources and manage them. And who will tell me the code name of this, this project? What we call this dashboard in OpenStack language? Horizon. Absolutely, yeah. That's Horizon. The, another way to use OpenStack Cloud is using command line. You can uh, type commands to operate your OpenStack Cloud and all the resources. And for that, you need to install um, OpenStack clients. There are different clients for different components. And also, uh, there is one OpenStack client which is now being developed, which allow you to operate all the components of OpenStack. So you can, I mean, to use it, you will need to install it as you install every other tool in your operating system. For example, you can do uh, sudo apt-get install OpenStack client if you, use, if you are using Debian-based distribution of Linux. And you can type the commands like OpenStack uh, user list if you want to list out all the users, or OpenStack server list if you want to list out all the servers. And there is one more way to use and manage your OpenStack cloud services, which is SDK. How it is different is it, uh, it is mainly developed to uh, provide better and different experience to uh, web developers and operators of OpenStack cloud so that they can operate the whole cloud with their code. So uh, there are SDKs available for many other languages other than Python. But here we'll talk about Python SDK. So you can write Python script to manage your OpenStack cloud. Uh, for example, if you are building a Django application and you want to store all your media files of your application to not, to, not on your server's hard disk, but on your OpenStack cloud, you can use Python SDK for that. OK. The, the one point to note here is all of the three interfaces about which we have talked, either it's GUI or command line or SDK, all of them underneath they uses APIs. So all components of OpenStack, they provide uh, RESTful APIs for the resources. And all these three ways which we have seen, either it's GUI or SDK or command line, they all uses those APIs and manage uh, authentication and many other details, wrap all of them together, and provide a simple way to us to use OpenStack Cloud. OK, so 
that was the first section now let's let's see how to use python openstack sdk uh, mm, we have already talked about what sdk is and as a software development kit uh, as, uh, this python openstack sdk provide all set of library and tools to manage all OpenStack services at the same place. So you can operate your OpenStack cloud with the Python code. And along with that, it also provides uh, good examples and documentations which you can go through to learn how to work with the ecosystem. Uh, to install OpenStack SDK, you just need to do pip install OpenStack SDK because it is available on uh, Python packaging index. Once you have installed it, you can uh, import OpenStack library. And uh, before uh, looking more into the code about how to use OpenStack SDK exactly, we need to know about few uh, basics. Let's, let's talk about them. So the very first thing one should know is connection interface. Uh, if you want to use if you want to uh, manage your OpenStack cloud resources with your Python code, you will need something to connect to that cloud. And that's what this connection class will do. So first thing that you will need is to create a connection object by providing all the authentication and all your other preferences, which will create a connection object. After creating a connection object, once you have established a connection with the cloud, you will need to specify which specific service you want to talk to. So if, if your connection object is gone, then you will need to specify, OK, I want to uh, talk to network service, or I want to talk to identity service. And, and, uh, and one thing to note here is that uh, OpenStack SDK are being developed with considering the point that end user actually does not know about the different uh, code names of the projects. So uh, end user actually does not know that we use keystone term for our identity service or we use Nova for our compute service. So here, to access any service, you will not need to specify any OpenStack term, but you will need to specify the real service that end user wants to use or you wants to use. So uh, after connection object, you will specify network not Neutron, if you want to access network service. And after that, you will need to specify which resource of that service you want to access. So if you, if you want to list out, let's say, all the servers that you have on the cloud, you will do connection.compute.servers, where compute will be your service, and connection will be your resources. And last thing is, uh, you will need to be sure which version of a component you want to talk to. Here we'll talk about Keystone version 3. If you want to use version 2, you can definitely do that. But you will need to specify it explicitly. So this is how a connection object can be created. So uh, very first, we'll need to import the connection module. So with OpenStack library, you have imported connection module in the first line. And then you can create connection object by passing all the authentication details, which you can get simply in your IRC file. And then once you have created the connection object, you can list out all the servers that you have, or you can list out all the images that, that you have. So uh, what you will need to do is connection.compute.servers, and it will return uh, generators of all the available servers that your OpenStack Cloud have. And similarly, you can list out all the images, all those who, who, whom you can access. Similarly, you can list out all the flavors, con.compute.flavors, and then you can uh, print flavor name, or you can perform any other action that you want to do. Similarly, you can access identity service and all the resources of those identity service. 
like identity dot endpoints and then print out the endpoints same for the projects for the users uh, same thing we can do with network you can create a network similarly you can create any server as well you can spawn any instance with the openstack sdk but here i have uh, added one example to how to create a network with the python code using sdk so con.network.create and in the argument you will need to pass which the name of your network that you want to create and then you can also create a subnet by providing proper arguments so again you will need to do con.network.create subnet and you can pass out the name of the subnet that you want and network id that you have just created and then which version you want and and other details if you want to specify so that that was how you can use python stack sdk now uh, we'll briefly discuss how exactly these sdk are being developed about their architecture so these are actually the main interfaces or the main classes on the top of which openstack sdk are being developed the very first is the connection class which is the main user interface it is a class with which usually user talks to and it perform three main actions out of them very first is it creates a profile object now what profile do profile uh, basically list out all the user preferences so you can before creating a connection object you can actually create a profile object and specify all your preferences for example i want to use this particular version for this specific service or any other uh, this particular region for this particular service so you can specify all those things by creating profile object and then you can pass that profile object while creating your connection object so that that's how profile and connection are being created if profile is not there in the request for creating connection object connection object will create a profile which which will which will have all the default services uh, after creating a profile object connection object will create a session object and here session do what session literally means it manage all your uh, authentication and transport session so it talks to the keystone it brings a token for you and it connects that token with the profile with the given profile which we have uh, which connection object has just created so you have all the user preferences listed you have all the authentication details now after that connection object list out all the collection of available services proxy now what proxy is um proxy uh, is a collection of available uh, resources methods for example um if 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 i call compute dot server on connection object then i am actually accessing proxy methods of compute service which will which will help me which will basically take me to the resource of the compute service and will take will uh, call the real resource which is our server because we have done compute dot server call so resources are the main api resources that that the components api provides and to access all those resources proxy objects are being created proxy objects have proxy methods which talk to the real resource apis so this is how it is being layered Re resources are the uh, the undermost layer which talks to the api and it exposes through proxy objects which provide different methods for the resources and all these proxy objects are connected with the services and collection object and collection object also connected with the session object so this is how all things are being connected these are the references thank you
if you have more questions to ask. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Sorry? How complete is the SDK? Is it uh, just covering uh, the pieces that you find the uh, CLI cover? Or does it cover all of the, uh, all of the, uh, the things that the underlying uh, SDK cover as well? Or uh, do, uh, do you ask that you, it doesn't have methods for the Kahuna API? Or is it limited in certain ways? Uh, kind of like, I mean, it's it limited. It, it is aimed to uh, build like a unified CLI only, but uh, it, I'm not sure if it support each and every component right now, but it do support all the main components of OpenStack and people are using it in production. Okay. Sorry? You will have to pass it to the connection object. It's not necessary that you, you need to specify everything in the connection object. You can definitely use the um, environment objects and use OS module or something similar to read it by Python. Yeah. Any other question? Okay. Thank you. Thank you.